This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research, and I'm going to teach you how to become financially world class. And this is part one. What I'm going to talk today is about is WCB, which I call world class benchmarking. This is a product I've developed over years of my experience advising my own companies how to become financially world class. World class benchmarking is simple, focused, and team building. That's what I'm going to discuss in this session. So let's get started. First of all, if we look at the finances of a company, most of the time they are complicated. They are scattered and they are individual focused. World-class benchmarking will take you from complicated to simple. It will take you from scattered to focused and it will take you from individual to team. And of course, you cannot become financially world-class as an individual. You need to do it as a team. So first, there are three core barriers to becoming financially world-class. And this is the first one. Complicated. Finance is hard. It's hard to understand for most of the management team. Think of the salesperson, the marketing person, the human resource person. They didn't want to study finance and they, they didn't study finance. So they don't have a deep understanding of it at all. In fact, almost everything the CEO says or the CFO says is going to be confusing to them. Without them on board, how are you going to become world class? So world class benchmarking makes complicated simple. How do we do this? It simplifies the, simplifies the finances of your business to help all your managers make business decisions in a financial framework. Now that's key. We don't want to make great financial decisions and bad business decisions. We want to make great business decisions, but make them in a financial framework. Now, the second of the three core barriers to becoming financially world class is scattered. Your management team focuses on many different financial measures. In fact, CEOs give them many different things to look at and they sometimes get scattered. So world-class benchmarking was designed to overcome these barriers. World-class benchmarking makes scattered focus. It narrows the finances of your company down to one measure that all employees can understand. Let me repeat that last point, that all employees can understand. That's the key. Once you get that, you get your whole team focused on the one measure. And it's a very thoughtful measure. It's not just measure that we focus on and get our business disjointed. Now, <clears throat> The third of three core barriers to becoming financially world class is individual. Modern management sets colleagues against each other rather than against the competition. People within companies are fighting all the time. They, people already are fighting a lot against each other based upon their own perspective. The marketing team is fighting with production, production's fighting with sales. It goes on and on and management wants this. So when you reward people individually by giving bonuses for individual performance, bonuses for uh, divisional performance, you're putting people against each other. What's going to happen is that everybody's going to do their best. Unfortunately, everybody doing their best is not necessarily going to make the best outcome. Think about a symphony. You can see that there are people in this picture who are doing nothing. If we went to a symphony and we told all of the members of the symphony, I want you to do your best. There's a pool of bonus and I will allocate it based upon how good you individually do. What's going to happen? Everybody's going to stand up and do a solo. But that's not how you get a great sound out of a symphony. We have to sub-optimize some parts of the symphony by reducing their input into the process for that moment 
to fully optimize the sound out of a symphony. This is teaching that Dr. Deming taught me many years ago when I was 25 years old, and I summarize that in a book I wrote about transforming your business with his principles. So, world-class benchmarking was designed by me to overcome these barriers. World-class benchmarking makes individual team. It aligns, employ aligns employees behind one goal, and that one goal is becoming financially world-class. Now, there may be other goals in the company, such as becoming f first class or world class in quality, in efficiency, in employee hap happiness, in limited amount of turnover of employees, many different goals outside of financial. But for your financial goal, it is to become financially world class. And guess what? That's not easy. So, world class benchmarking teaches us how to become financially world-class. The weaknesses that I see in most businesses when it comes to finance is finance is complicated. World-class benchmarking makes it simple. Finance is scattered. CFOs focus on many, many different ratios and people don't get it. World-class benchmarking makes it focused and individual. Focusing too much on individual performance rather than the overall company performance gets people fighting against each other. And in order to be financially world-class, you have to do it as a team. Learn more about world-class benchmarking and how to use it to make your company financially world-class at astots.com slash WCB. I'll see you there.